In this video, I am going to solve the problem 46th from chapter 17, Waves Part 2. An ambulance with a siren emitting a whine at 1620 hertz overtakes and passes a cyclist pedaling a bike at 2.44 meter per second. So you have to see the figure. The ambulance is coming with high speed. It overtakes this cyclist, this guy who is coming in the cycle, right? Bicycle. So this ambulance is emitting a frequency. What is the sound emitted, emitting frequency by the ambulance? So the frequency emitted by the ambulance, which is F, because here ambulance is the source. The ambulance is the source. And here this cyclist is the detector. Clear? So this source emitting the frequency which is 1620 hertz and this ambulance is overtakes this cyclist and this cyclist is coming with a speed which is the speed of the detector here they mention as 2.44 meter per second right after being passed after this ambulance passed this guy this guy is hearing the frequency of 1590 hertz so what is the frequency here by the detector the frequency here by the detector which is f dash which is 1590 hertz how fast is the ambulance is moving so we don't know what is the speed of the source we are going to find the value of that clear so this is the uh, outline of this uh, question so you have to see the figure actually the figure is not given in this question so i just prepared this uh, diagram for our uh, understanding purpose clear okay now we are going to use the doppler effect rule so what is the general rule for the doppler effect as we already studied and also we solved some question in the previous video f dash which is equal to f multiply with v plus or minus vd which is the speed of the detector over v plus or minus the speed of the source. This is the general formula for the Doppler effect. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to find what should be the speed of the source. And also, we should be very, very careful about which sign is exactly applicable in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Clear? So for that, I am going to frame the equation first. And after that, we can solve the value for finding the speed of the source. Clear? understand okay so first of all i'm going to write the rule so f dash which is equal to f and i'm going i'm not going to mention the sign so better i can write only v and v d here and also in the denominator i can put v and v s okay first of all i'm going to consider the denominator so this ambulance is overtakes this guy that means it is going away from this person whenever the source is going away from the person the detector is going to hear a low frequency right so if he want to get the low frequency even the values show here you can see here the ambulance gives 1620 but the cyclist here the frequency of 1590 which is smaller than the previous right so if he want to get this lower value of the frequency your denominator should be should be greater right so if you want to get the denominator greater you have to choose a positive sign right okay now we have to come to the numerator what sign is exactly applicable for this you have to see here this guy is approaching even though the ambulance is going away from this guy this detector is approaching he is going towards the direction of the ambulance so what we studied in the theory whenever the detector is going towards this uh, source we have to use the positive whenever the detector is going away from the source we have to use the negative so here in this diagram this cyclist is the detector he is going towards the direction of the ambulance so what sign is exactly applicable for this case positive clear understand okay what we understand from this numerator and the denominator in the numerator part it shows the listener is moving towards the source the listener here the listener is nothing but the cyclist okay so that means the listener the detector is moving towards the ambulance and what is the denominator says the source is moving away right source is 
moving away from the listener. Right? Okay. Now we are going to rearrange this equation and we are going to get the answer for this speed of the source. So once again, I will write this rule because I, I mentioned many things here. So it will be a little bit confused for us. So better I can rewrite this rule again. F dash, which is equal to F multiply with V plus VD over V plus VS, right? And we are going to find the value of this Vs. So what I am going to do, I am going to, because everything in the right hand side is in the multiplication form. So I am going to take this entire term to the left hand side of the numerator. And I am going to move this F dash to the right hand side of the denominator. By that, the above equation will become V plus Vs, which is equal to F over F dash multiply with V plus Vd right clear okay now i'm going to rearrange this equation again in terms of vs so how we can arrange therefore vs which is equal to f over f dash multiply with v plus vd and when you move this v to the right hand side it will take the negative value right because here it is positive when you move this v to the right hand side it becomes negative right okay now better we can write the data one more time that will be easy for our substitution okay so here the speed the v stands for the speed of the sound in air which is which is a constant so i'm going to take as 343 meter per second which is the speed of the sound in air clear okay for this vs we are going to find right so we are going to find what should be the speed of the source and the frequency emitted by the ambulance so here they mentioned as 1620 hertz right and the frequency heard by the cyclist which is f dash 1590 hertz and the speed of the detector v of d which is mentioned here as 2.44 meter per second all these value which is given in the question if you want you can just go back to the question and have a look okay so you have to see here the ambulance frequency the ambulance emitting frequency of 1620 and the cyclist speed is 2.44 meter per second and the cyclist hearing the frequency of 1590 hertz and we are going to take the speed of the sound in air as a constant which is 343 meter per second now what i'm going to do i'm going to substitute these values in this equation for getting our final answer right okay so therefore the speed of the source which is equal to what is the frequency emitted by the ambulance which is 1620 over 1500 90 multiply with 343 minus plus this the detector speed is 2.44 minus 343 so i'm going to calculate what should be the speed of the source let's we wait because it's the lengthiest substitution right so i have to find the answer one by one so 1620 over 1590 multiply with 343 plus 2.44 i got 351.957 i got so i can write 96 minus 343 actually this value is for from here to here only okay so now i'm going to subtract 351.96 with 343 so 351.96 minus 343 i got the answer as 8.96 what is the speed of the source which is 8.96 meter per second actually you have to see the value of the speed of the detector the speed of the detector is smaller and the speed of the source is greater that's what this ambulance is overtaking that cyclist so here you have to see the figure so the speed of the source what we got here is 8.96 what's the value here which is 8.96 meter per second so it has the a greater speed clear that's it thank you